we come this far by faith. Ooh, and I'm leaning, leaning on the Lord. And I'm trusting, trusting in His holy word. Ah, cause he never failed, he never failed me yet. That's why I sing, oh, 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 can't turn around. We come this far by faith. One more time. We have come this far by faith. Oh, and I'm leaning, leaning on the Lord. And I'm trusting, trusting in this holy word. Cause he never failed He never failed me yet and That's why I sing Oh, 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 oh Can't turn around We come this far By faith Hallelujah did it again. He did it again, y'all. He did it again. Woke us up another day, clothed in our right mind. Activities of our limbs, blood running warm in our body. You realize, you got to realize a lot of people, they ain't make it. But he, you made it. You under the sound of my voice, you made it. You made it. He woke you up another day to right and every wrong with him. You know, you got food on the table, clothes on your back, shoes on your feet. You even got a phone to see me on. <laughs> Hallelujah. So give God some thanks and praise today. Like I always say, I'm not a preacher. I just like to help folks. I like to talk. That's my gift. <laughs> my gift is talking. So I like to talk and, and, you know, even through music or this, you know, I find joy in this and peace and Spreading the word to somebody So, you know, um, I'm reading out of the what? It's the New International Translation Version So I want to read the book of James, right? And the, in, the, in the book of James 1 and 2 It's talking about trials and tribulations, right? So it's a considerate pure joy, my brethren It means sisters too Whenever you face trials of many kind Because you know the test That the testing of your faith uh, develops perseverance, right? And then um, we go on the four. And perseverance must finish at work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Amen? That's uh, First James, James 1, 2, down to what? 4. Amen? And um, I just want to say this. You know, we all going through, uh, you know, I always say that we all going through, but what the Bible say in James, count it all joy. That's strange, right? You may say, count it all joy when I'm going through trials. Yes, because God is making you through your trials. How can you, how can you have a testimony if you don't go through any tests? How are you going to know God is able to deliver if he don't let you fall into the pit? How are you going to know that God can pull you out? Amen. How you going to have sunshine? How you going to appreciate the sunshine if you don't never have no rainy days? You can appreciate the sunshine more when you have cloudy and rainy days. Amen. So you got to know that what 2024 about to come in. You got to claim that this is my year. This is my season to be what? Prosperous. But when I say prosperous, I, God is a full rounded God. See, all these all these prosperity preachers, all they talking about is houses and cars. No, that's you 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 don't have to be a, a a believer in God to get houses and cars. You just work, clean up your credit, and you can get that right. But what God do is He a full rounded God. He he your health. He makes sure your health is good. 
mental state, your, you know what I mean, your strength. He a full round guard. He don't just come and give you money. Don't you know you could be paying your tithes? I don't know why I was talking about trials and tribulations, but here I go. You know, Don't you know you could be paying your tithes and stuff and God won't pay you back in money? He can pay you back with, with, with that when you was about to get in a car accident or these people is about to rob you, but they, they, they missed you. They didn't rob you. Why? Because you faithful to God and paying your tithes or you faithful to God and spending time with him. He don't always pay you with money. It's important to go through your trials and tribulations. It's important to spend time with God. So I want to say this. Now I'm going to cut it short because you know I ain't no preacher. I just want to lift somebody's spirit up today and say, spend a little time with God today before you leave out the house. Give him a wave offering. If he woke you up this morning, you're under the sound of my voice, say thank you, Lord. Thank him. Why we don't want to thank God, but we do everything with the devil. We do everything for the devil. Everything. Let me tell you something. When I used to be out in the world. I was a true soldier for the devil. Do whatever my father say. The devil. Right? So why when we come on this side with God, it's so hard to do what God say. It's so hard to follow his commandments and precepts and laws. The devil is a liar. I was willing to die for the devil. I was out there acting a fool. So I'm willing to die for God. Amen? So what am I trying to say? I'm just trying to say, give God some thanks and praise. You healthy, your lungs is well. You know you're smoking on them cigarettes, pulling them back. Even if you're smoking weed right now, you pull, you're still healthy. Give God some praise for that. And ask him one day to take me off of this. Deliver me. You know? But I ain't going to get into all of that. I just want to let you know. Go through your trials and tribulations with joy. Knowing that joy work is patience. I mean, that trials and tribulations work is patience. It, it builds you up. You know, that's how I wrote that song, Broken. You know? And I got a music video to it, too. That song, Broken. Yo, I was broke down by, like, people was just doing me all types of ways, man. Tearing me down, breaking me down. In the church. But now that I look back on it, I say, hey, that stuff made me strong. So whatever don't break you, whatever trials that don't break you, whatever tribulations don't, don't break you, make you strong. Amen. Go check out that, that song, Broken, on YouTube. Uh, the video on my YouTube channel, Broken. When I'm talking about how church brothers tore me down, tore me apart, I was going crazy at the time because I was living in the church. I had nowhere to go. God had me cornered. I had to go through that trial. I had to go through that tribulation. And now I can look back and say, Lord, you're a good God because that made me strong. Amen. So remember, pray over your children. Don't just run out the house and don't pray over them. Even if you're not a praying person, go hug them and, and say a secret prayer while you're hugging them. Say, God, bless my children today. Cover them. Make sure they get back home safe. Amen. Matter of fact, I'm going to pray for them right now. Dear me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Touch the children right now, no guys. They go out on the highways and byways, Lord. Protect them from that mean man, that mean woman, that knife, that bullet, that gang member, that rapist, that murder, that danger scene and unseen, that bus accident if they riding on the bus today. Protect them and bring them back home from them kidnappers, these people that's kidnapping kids and all this trafficking and stuff. Protect them and cover them today, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.